If I can drag me halfway across town to deal with this son of a bitch. So this is Mr. Smith. Yes. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Obviously, you've met my associate, uh, Mr. Yes, sir, and uh, by the look on your face. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Mr. Elroy Hodge. Look, Mr. Hodge. There's a matter that needs to be resolved today. A matter of one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars with an annual in increase of forty percent. I'll get it, all right? I know you will. But do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. They never do. Now, you would like some more money, yes? Yes, everybody can use some. As for collateral? I have bonds. Gone six months ago. I have fucking gold certificates. You lost it in a gambling game to Mr. Jared Wasaki. I got one kilo of pyramid. Spent it on a 16-year-old named Vanity. My house. This is my house! But I have something. How about Connor? No, please. Your son. As collateral. Listen, man, I got a wife. I got had kids. had a wife, Mr. Smith. Please, I'll give you the fucking money, all right? I can make I, it right. I, I know you will. Now, I remember when I was starting out. I used to hustle in Savannah many years ago. I look, I look at you, and I see myself, my old self, staring back at me. I got caught up with a person called Mr. Jennings. He was from Williamsburg. He gave me a choice. A choice I'm trying to offer you. I'll never forget April 20, 2002. I met with Mrs. Jennings on Mr. Jennings' behalf. I insisted that she take the money that she was offered and leave the kids with Mr. Jennings. She declined the offer and we went our separate ways Hours went by, days went by, weeks went by, and I learned that Mrs. Jennings and her children were found dead from carbon monoxide poisoning. That same day I found that out, my son disappeared. Hearing you ask of me to be a decent man makes me realize how hard, how hard I try to be a decent man. But sometimes something inside me Works a little bit harder. Now, Carmine. Yes? No! Or no? No, you fuck. No, what the? No!